So, um, excuse the cold. I have a pretty bad cold. But anyway, I have not made a video in a long time. And I wasn't expecting actually to make a video on this because I thought it was just going to be so boring and whatever. I, so what I was doing is transferring a uh, Dell, mm, I don't know, what is it? Uh, Inspiron, uh, Inspiron 620 motherboard into another case. Um, a smaller case is going to go to my dad. Uh, he needs a smaller case for the for the area that he wants that he needs. This is a much better machine that he has. It's a Core i5 2400 that I've upgraded with, and I just got this today. It's an SFX power supply, 350 watt. It will be perfectly fine. The whole reason why I decided like I I was almost at my wit's end actually at this point, and just for your benefit, if you uh, ever come across this, that you're transplanting a Dell motherboard into another case uh, with a 620 or whatever, um, one thing that I noticed, and I didn't really take much heed to it, and you know, other people probably have. So this this is the the Dell case. It's bare right now. Um, so looking at where the uh, headers go in and in the front. You know, the, uh, up here there's uh, hard drive activity and power, all right? Oh, there we go. And then it's an interesting type of thing, but uh, I don't know if it can actually get in focus. So there's a blue and a brown, okay? So you see the blue and the brown. And then the blue has these... <clears throat> jumpers off of it going to uh, different pins on the front. I did not eh, take heed to that. And it's like, okay, you know what? I don't know. This is some... <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I have a cold. It's... Anyway, um, kind of funky, but it's like, eh, you know what? If I just popped in the power LED in... Uh, yeah, right in there or LED, the power switch, that would work. It did work. It did work. But you know what? You know what I found out what happens? The CPU fan is running so much faster than it needs to. And then when it gets up to like 20% usage, it goes up to 100%. And the, the, the sound is incredibly loud. I mean, it works, but it's like, why is it not working? Is it the power supply? Is is it like, I don't know. As I was like going all through this, it's like it's because this this is an old case. This is a really old case. I've had this thing. Oh my god, for. But the thing is, it's like it's nice and small. It's the depth of it is what matters. However. So I decided to plug that front panel into this in this case yeah and it worked again as it should so if you ever are going to <clears throat> use a dell motherboard in a non dell case you're gonna have to do something like this now this is really just off the cuff so it's spliced in here this is the power switch and these go to the two other jumper headings. I will show you what it looks like when I have it plugged in. And then I'm going to start to power up and wrap this up. Because I, I, was, I was knocking my head against this problem for a while. I said I wasn't going to make a video of it. But just in case anybody else wants to know why their CPU fan is running fast. Um, you know, in a non-Dell case. <laughs> that's it. So there we go. That's the configuration that it needs to be in. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing power LED and a hard drive LED on this thing. I, don't, I really don't care. But so you see the. This is the. Yeah, I'm getting like so much shadow. That's the power switch header spliced in, 
and I just have a, another header that's plugged into those other pins right there and that solves the the, uh, the span fan speed issue it is and I, I, I don't know what <coughs> I don't know maybe if I do some uh, research or anything it's I will find out what that <laughs> those pins actually do but it's kind of odd it's really kind of odd now I'm just gonna button this up and hopefully the fan speed is what it should be well okay here it is all well, almost all buttoned up I still have the top case off uh, you might remember this from before I had a Pentium of some description in here running Linux Mint and now it has a Dell case and it's actually a Dell motherboard and it's coming apart but you know what this thing is like I said this thing is old and as far as Cable management, yeah, you just shove everything in the front there. Uh, I mean, there's not really much you can do, and especially with a power supply like this, you know, uh, it really should be modular. If you know, for a small you know, SFX power supply, uh, there's not going to be enough, a lot of room in the case to actually store the rest of that. Um, so I think everything is plugged in. <coughs> Excuse me, man. I've, I've do I even upload this? I sound like shit. And so, okay, fans are in, everything. Moment of truth with this little and the bodge right there. I just I just have it held together with some electrical tape. Yeah, screwing out me. It's like, oh, you're not soldering it. It's like, you know what? I don't give a shit. Just as long as it works and it stays together. And if fan starts spinning fast, well, <laughs> I, I know what happened with it. So let's turn it on. And moment of truth here, right here. Uh, oh, it'd help if I took, put the power supply. Yep, there we go. Yes, it's quiet. And it's starting up. So what it would do. What it would do is like it would start up and go like 100 uh, fan speed 100 percent. So if you don't have that stuff jumpered in there on those other, you know, um, you're gonna have a bad time. But here we are. Oh, that sounds so much better. And like I said, if if the, the CPU was above like twenty <clears throat> percent, I would I would be just playing like a, a YouTube video. It this the fan speed would just ramp up incredibly, and <coughs> um, yeah. So now I'm sure I'm sure there's other references online about it. You know, I'm not the first one to encounter this. I believe. I'm sure I'm not, but it's the first time I encountered it, and it's like, didn't do any research on it, but it's like, oh yeah, this, this is, uh, this is what happens. Uh, and by the way, while we're here, it's a Core i5-2400, 8 gigs of RAM, um, and let's take a look at speed fan, because it was going up to like 40 some, which is fine. And now with the fan control speed as it should. <clears throat> oh, crow. All right, we're in the 30s. All right, and so, I mean, this is with the... Now, the top off, it really doesn't matter. Um, I don't think there's going to be... Anyway. We're down in the basement. And right now, you know what, 30? Yeah, I think we're looking good. And it's not spinning like a maniac. That's the video for today. Oh, um, one of the things is, is I, I did I see that, I don't know, I have like 20-some subscribers right now. And I apologize if, 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 you, if you subscribe and expecting a lot of content and whatever because I, I really don't put up content. It's only when uh, I'm doing certain projects and... 
but I think are interesting. I have another one coming up in the works I've, I'm thinking of doing, but it's not going to be that interesting. I'm only doing this one because it's like, you know what, that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. That you need to short out some jumpers on the, to, or uh, headers to actually get the fan running at the correct speed. Did Dell do that to screw you over? It's like, oh, you're putting it in a different case. No, 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 your fan is going to run all the time. No, I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know, but... Anyway, that was a long outro right there. But anyway, as you see, it's working. Quiet. Quiet as it, sh as it can. <laughs> and I'll see you for the next one. Sorry about the cold. Later.